Welcome back, cats and kittens, back to another installment of Finding Teddy, the Chronicles of Teddy, whatever the hell you want to call it. So, we're looking for musical instruments. We found the Guardian, but we don't want to talk to the Guardian yet. And then we got Mr. Floaty Fireball clipping through the background layer guy here that we're just going to straight up ignore. Because we've gone as far right as we can go, now we need to go left and find that musical instrument and bring that back to the city. Because I think those guys hold the word, the password, because, like, there's always, like, an exchange you have to have with the, um, with the, uh, the Guardians, and, and he, he already asked me, what do I want, and I assume the answer is pass. But we gotta, we probably need more than just please and thank you. Good health. I need more of it. Damn it! What the fuck? Really don't want to use my recovery gem already. Yes! Give me health! Give me all of it! Give me fuel! Give me fire! Give me that much I desire! Fudge. What the fudge? Damn it! Oh, come on. There, thank you. Now we got some jitters. Let me fix that real quick. Alright, we should be good now. Yes, give me more power. What the? F oh my god. What the fudge? Oh no. Oh no, are you serious? Oh, there we go, jeez. I was gonna say, that would have been just so unfathomably cruel. It's like, hey, there's your health, but you can't have it. I'm not even going to bother with that bird because I can't even reach it. Oh, great. These guys. Oh, great. One of those guys. Ah! Ah! No! No! Ah. Oh. Fa! Okay. Great. Now I gotta go all the way back to the library again. Wait for him to show up. Do that effing blows. Firefly! Okay. Oh, great. Wow, their swords hurt you. Like, they don't even have to be attacking you. They just straight up hurt you. Oh, boy, this is, uh... Well, can't do that. Wow, you can't even do that. It 
Instrument? Instrument. All right. Now let's make our way back to the village. Whoops. And on our way by yet another recovery gem and some health. I mean, it's fortunate that it doesn't cost a lot to either, but it's getting to the point in the game where there I never used this many of the first time I played this. It's like everything is like doing so much damage so early on and you don't have enough heart containers for it. It's like the difficulty is almost negating the fact that you're starting the game over with like your old equipment. God damn. God damn it! No! Death count officially won. Quit. God, that is morbid as hell. That effing sucks. You know, I can't tell if it loaded faster off the hard drive or it loaded faster off the internal memory. What? It takes me all the way back here? Well, if that's the case, I'm going to go to the shop and buy some health. All the health for ten dollars, that's a steal. In Zelda 3, you could buy health from a heart shop. I mean, uh, hearts from a health- I mean, whatever. You could buy health in Zelda 3 and it was pitiful. I think it was like ten rupees for like three hearts, which is ridiculous. Go outside and cut some bushes. In this, you don't have that luxury. In Zelda 2, you didn't have that either. The only way you could do that is to either, like, find a fairy, which was random, or, um, or, uh, go to a town and have the, uh, the, the woman restore your health inside of her house. Whoops. I guess it's not a platform. That is, but that part isn't. Interesting. Yeah, I got all the way to the right. Okay, so... Jumping, a bouncing, a hopping, and a jumping. Just pogo the shit out of everything. It's your safest thing to do. Yes! Push him off! Push him off! Ah! Ah! Screw you! I don't care if I would get any gems from you. I don't care. You're dead. So he's, so I guess he's wearing a helmet, which is why he doesn't take damage on there, but the very back of his head is still damageable, which I guess that helmet doesn't extend all the way, question mark? 
Whatever. His hitbox works in my favor. Can still pogo the shit out of him. Jam! Damn it! Oh well. Damn it! Fudge Pops! There we go, back up to 1400. I think we were like 1480 before we died. And this thing like goes... I, I We've never really stayed dead long enough to... Um, Examine the repercussions of it, but the one time that I did die on stream and did hit continue, you lose like half your gems. That is something you cannot afford to do in this game because you need to have your gems to buy upgrades. Especially in New Game Plus when the difficulty like... Rip! Introducing late game enemies early on in the game. And the whole no recovery shit. Like I said, there's no recovery frames at all. You just keep taking damage. Makes this a little bit harder than it needs to be for all the wrong reasons. God damn it. Oh boy. All right, now let's yet again go and buy some health and then make our way back to the village. I mean, we got the recovery gem, so we have, like, some insurance should the worst happen. But let's try to avoid that. I think that's actually low enough. Yes, it is. It was, in fact, low. Fuck! You're never going to beat it. They're always going to drop it before you can. Jesus Christ! No mercy. Mercy. Uncle Joey. F There's your daily full house dosage of the day. Actually, it's... No. Nope. Like at this point, I'm just hoping they'll, they'll, they're they're dro gonna drop health. Even though I know that it's like a distinct non-possibility. That they won't fudge. Okay, there's that, but that really doesn't undo what I lost. Okay, that that kind of made it worth it then. I should still probably go and buy some. Okay, maybe not. We're getting there. We're getting there. Damn it. You know those spikes. You should probably avoid them. Okay.
Come on. Bring it back here. Bring it back here. What? Changing your attack pattern? That's illegal. Okay. That was some health. That was kind of worth it. Bad jump on my part. Double bad jump. Damn it. Okay, I should still probably go by health anyway. <sighs> Taking chances you don't need. Well, okay, let's do this. Well, actually, first of all, we should save. Should the worst happen, it'll bring me back to the middle as we found out. And we'll buy health on the way back. No, no, in fact, let's do it on the way in because let's see what happens now now, uh, now, now that I have both of the instruments. Well, now, see now, <laughs> with the more health it just showing up, I'm like, okay, now we're not, we're definitely not. I was gonna say, let's go back and see where the, the, the hit marker moves. I'm like, well, that's time that I don't wanna waste. Because we already wasted time having to load an older save. Am I heading the right way? Yeah, the village is all the way to the effing left. Jesus! God damn! So I remember like 30 seconds ago I said I wasn't gonna buy health. <laughs> Whatever, man. No. But what if he drops health? Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Because of course! Isn't that how it always works? Whoa! Okay, double health. Pretty great. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be some in these pots. Nope. Worth it! Okay, we just saved ourselves some some money and some heartache. By the way, some money and some heartache will be playing at games this weekend. No cover charge. Watch out for the little cacti thing. The fact that they put spikes in the water here. And edit the little green dudes everywhere. Really makes this part way more difficult to navigate than it already is. Come here. Oh, I don't know if I can reach you. I barely can. Sweet, full health, enjoy while it lasts, because it won't last forever. See, look, oh, Jesus. Like I said, enjoy it while it lasts. Goodness gracious. Now 
That was completely dumb. There we go. Should be the village. Nope, should be the next screen. Two more screens. Jesus, they're really on the far side of the world. Of course. Sweet. Better that than not at all. Can I, did I go up in here? Oh yeah, I did go in here. Did I? Well, if I go in there, it's gonna reset everything, so we're not going to do that. We're just gonna keep moving along. Oh wait, you know what? I did. It's this door that goes the other way. Because the... It, it, it's, it's, it's broken up in sections. It's not by squares, if that makes sense. Because there's a... It's not... There's... It's not like Metroid. It's map. Frame rate. There we go. Yay! Got the loot. Tell Guardian to go to Palace. Go Palace. Palace, new word, ha ha ra, gotcha. Tell Guardian fight Terra, right? Ha. <sighs> Where's Terra? How do I spell Terra? Oh, it's Terra. Effing duh. Alright, we got passwords, we got words, we got names, we got person, places, things. Alright. 1500 gems! We're getting there. Let's save. And now. You know what, let me, um... Let, let, me, let me take a look here real quick. And see if what, what, what this door is all about. Okay. Uh, the guy doesn't make mention of this door yet, so I believe it's a post-game mop-up. So when we start coming back with all the, uh, other things, we'll go and check that door out. So, moving along. Let's go ahead and make our way towards the, uh, the Guardian. And tell him, or her, Swamp Creature. Then we want to go fight Terra. Because we're running, we're running, we're running, we're running as fast as we can. We're running. We are running. And up and over. Oh man, there's some, I don't know what to call this, it's like, frames are skipping forward over each other. Internal jitter.
Don't worry, Mr. Firefly. We'll come back for you. Really just... <laughs> when you have nothing to fight... You really get a chance to appreciate everything that's, like, you see and do. The pixel art, the music. This game's got a lot of heart. It's not perfect, but I enjoy it immensely. Oh gosh, it's tearing up pretty bad. Man, I really hope this doesn't happen on the PS4 version. Or if it ever gets ported to the Switch or something. That's some, that's some pretty bad screen tearing. Man, even though we pass through a door, everything's staying dead. That actually is super useful. You cleared out an area, everything stays dead for a little while. How about that? Totally new concept. Jump and jump and jump and run and jump. I know I made mention of it before, but it's worth underscoring again that the fact that you can actually change the amount of momentum that you have just by holding down the run button in mid-jump is just ridiculous. In a good way. Fuck you! And fuck you in Oh, you're a goblin, dude. I desperately want them to make another game like this. I seriously had so much fun playing this with Shelby. I would love them. Like, I know they're working on like uh, uh, like a, a another like Wonder Boy game, to my understanding. Like they're working with the people that have like the Wonder Boy license. Uh, like you know from like the Master System. So they're probably that's what we're gonna be working on for a while because they're a small French studio. I think like the like there was like maybe like four people that worked on this game total. But I would love for them. This is their, this is their baby, you know. The original was a point-and-click adventure game. Uh, unbelievably short. Um, you could beat it in, like, two hours. We did it in one stream. You could do New Game Plus in less than that time because you already know what to do and how to avoid all the deaths, but, you know, it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. Um, it's on iOS and it's on Steam and Green Man Gaming and all that fun stuff, so... You can get that for real low cheap. Soundtrack's pretty cool, too. It's kind of ambient. But I would love to see them do another one of this. Because they've they've nailed... They they clearly love Zelda 2 and everything that goes along with it, and it shows. I would love to see them do that again. Alright, here we go. What's up? Whoa! What happens when I try to approach him? This is for science. Oh, it doesn't let you go any further. Okay. All right. I wanna want. I wanna. I wanna go ahead, and I want to go palace, which is four, four, eight. One, two, two, one. Oh, so I don't remember doing that before. Okay. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, Two, one. Oh, there we go. I did it wrong. Why do I want to? I want to fight Terra, yo. Four, eight, two, eleven, one. Yeah, you pass. I'm not gonna let you die, and you're not gonna have to fight Terra. I will do that for you. Eight, 
And here we are at the entrance of the uh, next dungeon. So I think that's where we're going to call it. Save again for good measure. Because the audio is getting mightily glitchy. So we'll go ahead and reconvene on the next thing for uh, another installment of Finding Teddy. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, pick that up and run with it and hopefully knock out the dungeon in the next uh, sitting. So catch you all then. Thank you so much for watching. And until then, ciao, ciao.